So today's topic is an interesting topic. Um, it's a very important topic as well. Today we are going to discuss about reed bells. So um, you know, in a bike uh, such as the Yamaha RX series or um, the RD three fifty or let's say any of the Suzuki bikes, uh, you have a, a, a reed valve type uh, intake system. So basically, a reed valve is a one-sided valve. So it it opens up and lets the air through only in one direction it closes and it doesn't let the charge back so um, usually what happens is when the piston moves down it creates a vacuum uh, inside the combustion chamber and uh, that vacuum actually opens up these petals like this um, so when these petals open uh, the charge gets into the cylinder and when the piston moves uh, back up due to negative pressure created uh, inside the uh, piston the uh, you know reed valves actually close so uh, i i could be wrong with the negative and positive pressure bit uh, you know because i i get confused by those so technicalities aside uh, this is a one-sided valve and it opens up when the piston uh, goes down and it kind of closes when the piston goes up and the combustion happens um, so uh, the main thing to do is uh, you need to inspect the uh, reed valves whenever you know you're uh, you have a chance whenever you are rebuilding the engine so it is very important that uh, you know you you know how to inspect it so the reed valves that we get for um, the RX uh, RD350 or the Shogun are usually made by HTA. You know that that's the company that makes these reed valves. If you see, it will be written here. So these reed valves have uh, stainless steel petals in them. So you know these uh, are built to last, and you know. Uh, these don't go bad that easily but they do go bad so i i just wanted to show an old reed valve that i took out from an old bike which had a ring piston ring failure if you see uh, there is a lot of carbon here the carbon buildup is mainly because of uh, the ring failure because of which the uh, burn gases were coming down and you know they coated uh, these sides with uh, uh, a lot of carbon so uh, also you know if if there is a compression loss that would coat the underside of uh, you know the uh, reed valve as well so that has also happened on this one so this basically tells you without opening your cylinder that you know you have a problem uh, so if if it's let's say not sitting flush if you have little gap um, that that would mean that it won't the bike won't start well it won't idle well you will also have loss of power so the best way of inspecting it is uh, you look at some kind of light source through this and if you see the light at the end like you know what you can see now uh, when I you know push the pedal uh, that that would mean that the reed valve is bad and it needs to be replaced so um, you know there are uh, other things that you can do as well you can upgrade these reed valves uh, petals to you know the fiber petals or you know the carbon fiber petals uh, those just uh, have more uh, flexibility uh, they are easily you know uh, they open up easily and they close very easily due to small changes uh, so that would improve your throttle response um, so you know there, there are company like V-Force, Boston those guys sell the petals as well as the whole uh, reed valve assemblies so uh, you, you can either replace it with a stock one or you can go with a performance upgrade uh, you know usually 
reed valves uh, you, you know when the reed valves are bad when you know it it doesn't start that easily the bike doesn't start that easily or it doesn't idle properly and you know when you let's say you open the throttle uh, it once you let the throttle go it doesn't the rpms don't come down that fast so it it will kind of get stuck there or you know you will feel a little bit of jerking there would be a misfire kind of a scenario because you know the reed valves are not opening and closing whenever they are supposed to so let's say if a reed valve is kind of open so that would mean that you know a more charge will enter into the cylinder so that would mean that the idle might also surge so that is also uh, one of the symptoms so whenever you see uh, one of these symptoms that i mentioned then probably what you need to do is you need to take out the reed valve and inspect it uh, there is only one packing that you need to put on this uh, some people install a packing here some people install a packing here and then you know they put the manifold on and uh, while while you are checking the reed valve uh, also check the condition of the manifold if it has any cracks or if you know there are chances of air leak that would also affect your idle and it will make it look like there is a potential reed valve issue so i hope uh, that was a bit informative uh, if you have not already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and if you find my videos interesting if you find there is good information in these videos please do like and share uh, with your friends if you find that you know there is there is some information that might be incorrect please feel free to comment and let me know so that you know i can improve myself uh, thanks a lot for watching have a great day bye bye